So now we're going to turn to Igor, who's Russian. So he's going to talk to us about his view of the American elections, but also talk to us about the Russian election, because Putin should announce very soon that he's a candidate, which should not be a big surprise. Uh, but how is it viewed from the inside, especially when a war is going on, people and soldiers are killed? How does he present himself to, to the Russians? And, and, and your take on the American elections also. Thank you very much. Thanks, <laughs> Thierry de Montbrial, because from 2008, being a participant of the World Policy Conference, that's, that's worth a, a, an award. Uh, there is no suspense in Russian election. Eh? Uh, if it takes place on March 2024, as it is planned, 80% of the population, or those who will come to vote, will, will vote for, for Mr. Putin. Okay? Uh, this is the genesis of the system. This is the history. This is the geopolitical situation. Uh, having said that... War doesn't change that. Having said that, uh, unfortunately, they didn't give me a clicker, and I had some slides, but you have to believe uh, me. Yeah. You have to believe me that uh, sociology shows that, number one, among young people, there is a big fatigue of the face, uh, because Mr. Putin is in power for, for the last 23 years, and it's obvious then that uh, uh, some young people want to change. Second, even if something happens, something very unexpected, and then uh, Mr. Putin, for example, says that I'm not running. Uh, the same young people are divided into two equal uh, categories. One would say we want a stronger military to head us, and another one ferociously saying no military at all, we need some peaceful and, and civil development of, of, of Russian Federation. So here you have a split even among the young category of the voters. Forget about the older ones who would 60% vote for somebody with a military background to, to head them. Okay, so this is the second. Both of them, both categories and both age groups would vote for more social justice. And the talk about the progressive income tax, which is going on for, 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 for decades, and we still have a flat 13% uh, uh, income tax. Uh, the, 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 the talk about the uh, oligarchs who are around the, the Kremlin and they run the country and, and not us running the country, and so on and so forth. So uh, whoever wins uh, should take this into very serious consideration. Uh, very telling was the reply, uh, what about the mutiny of certain Mr. Prigozhin? Probably you heard of the mutiny this summer when uh, somebody very close to, to power, the owner of the private army who fought in Syria, in Ukraine, all of a sudden raised up and from Rostov on Don went to Moscow and was stopped only 100 kilometers from Moscow. So the reply of both young and old was 50% supported them. That's telling in terms of the general mood of those who are going to go and vote. Okay, so this is, the, this is it. You have to take con into consideration the feeling of social injustice, the, the need for change, at least in the younger uh, part of our population, and nevertheless, strong hand, and preferably something military, uh, somebody military uh, on top of us. Uh, again, I will end up this part by saying that 80% of those who will come will vote for Mr. Putin. It's organized, but it's also uh, genuine uh, support for the figure who is, who is leading the country at the moment. Uh, very strong and influential people around him, around Putin, and visible on, uh, uh, on the political screen and political stage of our country, they say, why do we need election anyway? 80% is a given. Uh, the support is a given. We're in the war. Why bother? Why, why do we disattract attention of the people? Uh, I would say that Putin will not buy this because he needs a referendum on what's going on. So he will probably need a, a real and clean results from the different territories 
we don't forget that Russia is one seventh of the land mass with 100 nations and nationalities. It's very telling and interesting to know who reacts on what and how at this present stage of the serious geopolitical conflict. So it's like a survey for him. It is a survey, survey and a referendum for him and for people around him who run the country uh, in his name or together with him. Having said this, I should say that given the circumstances, about 30% of the survey, 30% of those in, who participated in the sociological poll, they didn't know that we are having the election and didn't care less. And so from this point of view, this indifference also is very important to take into consideration for anybody who is doing the, the, the politological uh, management of the situation. In, in view of this, uh, American election is, is of more <laughs> hype and interest uh, for the average uh, uh, Russian than, than probably ours. And from this point of view, there is no question that the mainstream uh, media is for Trump. Whether they are given a sort of advice or that's their honest uh, opinion, uh, no, no matter. But it's obvious from all of the analysis of the mainstream, I'm not talking about telegram channels and social media, but uh, the mainstream would, would definitely uh, provide all kind of support to Trump and all kind of... Uh, Oh, he's old, he's uh, falling from the tarmac, etc., etc., to Biden. It's obvious. Same would happen in French election, if, hap if it happens tomorrow. Same kind of arguments will be in, uh, for, in favor of Le Pen and against uh, 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 Macron. Uh, if the, the decision of uh, 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 Great Britain on participation in EU would happen tomorrow, uh, they would be for Farage, and, and, and against uh, anybody who, who is Eurocentric. So th that's obvious, that's the result of the geopolitical situation. And uh, again, no matter what, after March 24, if everything goes according to the normal plan, uh, very serious messages will be delivered to Kremlin to take care of uh, what's going on. And from this point of view, uh, of course, we are now junior partner of Chinese People's Republic and certain elements will definitely be taken care of, not only in Moscow, but in Beijing too. So big reshuffle of the political staff, is that what you're saying? We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, we, in terms of reshuffle, they talk about reshuffle all the time, but we know that Mr. Putin is very loyal to his uh, to his entourage, I don't think I don't think of great reshuffle, but the accents should be should be changed seriously. Well, thank you for for this assessment.